Hi guys, an update from Vegas. MGM was cyberhacked. Yes, you heard that right. A cyber hacking group called Black Hat allegedly killed their entire systems and boy, you could tell, it was mayhem. The system is down here at Luxor. And this is why there's the website such a massive, work. yeah, nothing works. But the website not checking, this is a mess. Thank God we checked it yesterday. We must live it. Yeah. We're not experiencing this check-in madness, and we're already checked in. Yay. Yesterday when we arrived, there was like three people in line. I was like, oh, wow, well, no. Yeah. Late, you know? <laughs> and then I just went through the VIP, and I was like, is there a line for babies? Look and they were like, no, you can go with the babies. But if this were to greet me, <laughs> I would be pissed. I would go to the Seriously. And this didn't just affect the Luxor. All MGM hotels on the Strip were in the same boat. Complete and utter chaos. And mind you, they own multiple hotels on the Strip. Just imagine the losses. Another check-in desk. Very long line. What's going on and who hacked Vegas? I actually said something about some MGM brand or something. MGM brand being hacked by hackers. They had to stop all their tables, all their slots, everything. So maybe that's too bad. Maybe everybody got... Today I had to give them my credit card details written on a piece of paper because their systems don't work. Okay, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. We're hitting the slots. Okay. Yeah, exactly. We're starting early, bright and early. We're going to win it all back, okay? As one goes in Vegas. No, we're here for an update. So happening, Basically, right? we were in the pool speaking to VIP uh, like guests. Yeah. And they were telling us what it transpired with the clock twos. Because she came up to me and was like, how long were you in the queue? And I was saying... Uh, we arrived the day before, thankfully. So she explained that basically the Caesars and the MGM got hacked, like cyber hacked, and, and their whole, whole systems were down. So the whole time that we've been there, the systems have been down. And the Caesars pretty much paid up a ransom of 30 million, and then they got robbed for another 45 million. And the MGM was asked for the save. Now, allegedly, they paid the 30 million, but they haven't got their systems back on. Uh, so anyway, allegedly, oh, well, um, yeah. They got, um, they paid the 30 million and we don't know if they got robbed for more, but their systems are still down. Like we just checked, it's still down. Yeah. And uh, the guy, the manager was also very stressed. Like he looked everyone. stressed. Yeah. There have been people in the queue for two days. They were supposed yeah. to check in on Monday, or sorry, on Sunday, and they checked in on Tuesday. Two days standing in a queue at reception. And That's they couldn't crazy. go anywhere else because there's two conferences in Las Vegas. So like the whole city is full. The whole strip was just fully booked. That's also why our rooms were so expensive actually. But yeah. unbelievable. So we are, we're here for a hacking and a blackmailing. Yeah, and it's I'm not like, it's not in the news world. news, like the main news, you know? We're trying to keep it on the down low. But the other states knew, like a, a, a daughter of someone in the pool who lives in Ohio had gotten a call like, hey, I saw on the news that uh, systems are down, but it's not just here. It's worldwide. Yeah. MGM worldwide is down. So. You must, okay, be, a pretty, you must be a pretty good hacker to to get something done like that. Yeah. You don't know any of the details. This day just keeps getting better and better, car, because systems are down, so parking cannot even be big. Hey! So the gates are open. They released a press statement a few days after saying that everything was operational, but they're playing it down massively. Many slots were down, you could still play at their tables, but any winnings had to be hand counted by the cashier. Key cards were messed with and guests had to be escorted by security to be let in with the old fashioned keys guys. Every payment had to be done with forms and check-in was done with old school paper and clipboard. As you can imagine, the lines at check-in were endless, like literally a kilometer long. Anyways guys, this was basically our experience of what happened in Vegas during the hacking. We're currently not there anymore so i'm not sure of what the situation is like right now anyways if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe below and see you on the next one ciao